Hi everyone, once again uh, welcome to the LPS uh, uh, course, um, in this lecture we are continuing to look at the, um, the Python programs, um, we covered six of them, um, today we are going to cover the remaining ones, so I am going to go quickly over these things basically so that uh, you get an idea of uh, how um, the Python code is written. And what are the benefits of the Python code? Um, once again, uh, Python is um, used for pretty much like I mean, it's a, it's a scripting, but at the same time, you get the full power of the programming language. So, um, so here um, we are actually like um, going to the number seven, which is the programs on lists essentially. So, here the first one is a, just a simple function which is given a list of numbers. We return a list where all the adjacent elements have been reduced to a single element, adjacent equivalent elements. So if it is one, two, two, three, the program returns one, two, three as a list. Um, so here um, we define this um, um, function, remove adjacent, and then uh, basically it's a list of numbers. And then the result is also a list. So we define as an empty list uh, initially, and then we basically say, like I mean, if, uh, for each of these elements inside this nums, so num in nums. Now, if um, length result equal to zero or num is not equal to result minus one, then we append uh, result minus append um, uh, result. We use this particular. Um, uh, method that is append with the number. So here you can see basically, like I mean, so if, um, the length of uh, result is uh, zero. That means that if it is a starting point, this right now it is zero. And then if the number is not equal to the result minus um, result uh, minus one, that means that the last element. Then we append it. Otherwise, we don't append. We just continue and then until all these uh, numbers are exhausted and then we return the result as the, uh, um, the list. So simple program, um, just um, look at the way that it is written, how elegant it is, um, all we do is essentially like I mean this method which is called the append, that is what uh, we are using it here. So another one is basically given two lists sorted in increasing order. Create and return a merged list of all elements in sorted order. You may modify the past in lists. Ideally, the solution should uh, work in linear time. So, what that means is basically for every element, it needs to uh, take a fixed amount of time so that it is not an exponential or anything else like that. So we make we need to do only one pass for both the lists. So here we define the same function like a linear mode, list one and list two. Those are the two input ones that we are giving here. Uh, and then we define a, a new one called the result uh, uh, a list, and that is defined as an empty list up front. Um, so uh, then now we are going to do basically um, for while for um, um, we look at the two lists uh, so long as both are non empty take whichever element is the smaller so that that's the whole overall um, algorithm there is in this comments I can see that so while um, these two lists are non not um, uh, zero, non zero. Now what we do is basically like if uh, list one zero is less than list two zero, then we append as um, list one basically. And then what we do is basically like I mean then that that's actually removed from the list. Whichever one gets appended, that gets removed from the list. And if it is the other one, then we append uh, the um, append the second one and then remove that from the list. Now we track what is left um, by using result dot extend 
list 1 and uh, same list 2 and then we basically uh, return the list the, the, the result itself. So again it is a fairly simple program to write um, just uh, keep in mind about this um, here what we do is basically like whichever one is smaller we put it in the you know result list and then pop it out of the original list. So now a, a test function used in main to print what each function returns versus what it is supposed to return this is our standard one that we know basically. So if what is equal to expected then prefix is ok otherwise prefix is x and then we print the whole thing. So now we test all these programs um, basically so the remove at this end we just give like 1 2 2 3. Or uh, and then we expect the result to be one two three, uh, and then we also try it with some other things. Basically, two two three 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 should be just two three, and then uh, if it is an empty list, it should print an empty list. And then uh, for the linear merge, we again do like a couple of conditions. One is um, we do a a x x z z and b b c c, and then the b b c c should be in the middle of that. And then the if it is a x x and then b b c c z z then the b b and c c should be middle and then z should be at the end. And then a a a and then a a b b b b should be like three a a's and then two b b's. So here is what we get um, when we run this programs, and we can say that actually it has executed successfully. So this is one way to actually test these kind of programs um, I think uh, you should be aware of this and you should be using these kind of testing before uh, you submit any of the programs um, uh, in an assignment. Now let us look at some of the programs uh, for, for string again we will go through the similar kind of testing procedure um, so let us see what kind of uh, um, Things that we can do. Um, so um, the number one is a donuts basically, which is um, even an integer count of a number of donuts. Return a string in the form of number of donuts. The count, where count is a number passed in. However, if the number, if the count is ten or more, then the use the word many instead of the actual count. So if donuts 5 returns number of donuts is 5 but if donuts 23 returns number of donuts many. So how do we do that? So here we again define the uh, our function called donuts and then we pass the counts as the input and if the count is less than 10 then we return the number of donuts is um, plus. So number of donuts colon and then we uh, print this string count which is essentially like uh, whatever the number that is less than 10 else we just return number of donuts and then so basically like this is a very short program to test the I mean to um, do what we are um, we wanted. Now the next one is basically uh, both ends is another uh, um, uh, function uh, um, here essentially like I mean uh, if uh, length of this string is less than 2 then return nothing uh, the first 2 is basically like s uh, the strings uh, the 2 values and then the last uh, 2 is actually it's, um, strings um, uh, minus 2 colon basically that specifies the last 2. And then we return the first two and the last two. Okay, so this is basically the it returns the two characters at both ends of the string. Now a fit start essentially this is given a string s return a string where all occurrences of the first character have been changed to star except do not change the first character itself. 
so if it is a babel that will become b a star star any so the solution is here basically it is um, we get the string s and then we define what is the front which is uh, s0 and what is the back which is s um, minus 1 um, and then we say like I mean fixed back which is um, we use this method back dot replace essentially um, and that we with um, so this this gives you the rest of the characters essentially one column rest is basically like all the ones that are after the first one the first one we already captured in the form and then so once you want to fix that uh, this back basically we replace the front which is this character with the star so that replaces all the remaining occurrences of this front character with the star and then we just return front and the fixed back. I think these are fairly easy I think um, you should be able to understand most of the stuff uh, I'll still go through uh, some of these things. Um, so here the mix up basically given strings A and B um, return a single string with A and B separated by space that is A B except the swap the first two characters of each of the strings. So mix pod will become fox mid. Or dog dinner will become dig donor. So you define again the, the function mix up a b, and then um, essentially like we define the a swapped is b the first two column plus uh, a uh, two onwards the remaining, and then the swapped is same thing basically. Uh, a is uh, first two characters and then the remaining of the B and then we simply basically uh, return um, the A swapped then a space and then B swapped. Now again same function that we defined basically and then here uh, this is called testing these uh, the above functions. And then uh, we define the main as basically like what is the function call with what should be the um, um, the uh, the return value. And when we test these uh, different functions, essentially like all these four functions, to get um, the following output, which is confirmed that um, we have written the code correctly. So now more uh, programs on string. Uh, here, basically, it is called the verb. It is uh, given a string with uh, its length is at least three. Add i and g to the end, unless it already ends in i and g. In which case, add l y instead. If the string length is less than three, leave it unchanged, and return the resulting string. So here is the our um, little function, which takes uh, s as the input string. Now we first of all we see whether the length is less than or equal to three. If that is there, um, oh sorry, if it is greater than or equal to three. So if it is there, then um, we try to see whether the last three characters are i and g, which is s minus three colon. And if it is not i and g, then we add the um, i and g to to the end. But if it is i and g, which goes into the else, now we add l y as a string and append that to the original string, and then we return the s. So in this case, if it is less than three, it basically like leaves it uh, as is.
Now the next uh, function is uh, not bad, which is given a string, find the first appearance of the substring not and bad. If bad follows the not, then replace the whole not, um, not bad substring with good. Return the resulting string. So if it is um, basically like says like dinner is not that bad, then you get dinner is good. Basically, so it's a not that and bad. All anything that is in between not and bad is uh, basically um, replaced with just good. So the way that we write it is basically again we get the string, then we find not. So this is a method, and uh, we also find bad, we store it in these two variables n and b, and then if um, if they are not the last characters, last um, ones essentially, uh, which is n um, not equal to one or b not equal to one, and if b is greater than n. Then we look at the string and then essentially replace um, the last uh, the n character essentially. Um, so we take out the characters up to n and put the good there and then the remaining basically. So and b plus three. So so that means that essentially. We continue after the bad, so we go up to not print uh, good and then go after the bad, so this prints the whole uh, new string. So, most of these kind of um, Algorithms are self-explanatory. Um, I will go through it, uh, but I think, like I mean, once you read it, uh, it will be fairly easy for you to understand how uh, these algorithms are written. And then, as you can see, like I mean, these are all like less than ten lines of code, so you should be able to pick it up very easily. Okay. Uh, so the next one is the front back. Basically, which is uh, dividing a string into um, two halves. If the length is even, then the front and the back halves are the same length. If the length is odd, then we will say that an extra character goes in the front half. That is A, B, C, D, E. The front half is A, B, C, and the back half is B, B. The given two strings, um, A and B, we return. A string in the form of a front b front and then a back b back. So we take these two strings basically a and b. And now we need to figure out uh, the middle position of each string. So a middle is length a divided by two, and b middle is length b divided by two. Now we see whether it is an even or an odd, if this is odd now add 1 to the length, um, 1 if the length is odd and then so we add that basically in middle plus 1, if it is um, if uh, the same thing goes for the B also, so you see basically like when we divide by 2. You don't put the decimal so that uh, it is an integer division and it is a lower number, so that's why we are just adding one to it. If you use like dot zero or something here, then that will mess up the whole calculation. So please don't do that. And then finally, we return um, basically the a string from zero all the way to a middle, and then b string with um, zero all the way to b middle. 
and then a string a middle all the way to the end and then b middle all the way to the end. So again we do the testing program and then test it and uh, here we see that basically everything is correct. So this is the example program on game uh, this is probably the last one here first we say basically the, the high score for the game which is at 0 and now we do a try basically we make them with uh, high score dot text essentially and then um, so basically there is already exceptions built in into this one the, the try catch so we try to read the high score from this file. That is the whole intent. So, whether um, we just read that uh, high score and then we close the file and then we print the high score is so basically and then we generate any exceptions. And then we try to get the score from the current game, which is uh, current score is zero, and then we ask the user for her score, and then again we have an exception handler if it is uh, type something else. And then if current score is greater than the high score, then we say like yeah you got a new score, and then uh, we also open the thing and then write out the the new score into the file and then if uh, it is not there then just say like print uh, better luck next time. So here this is one thing that uh, how the program does. So that is pretty much uh, all that I want to cover for today um, I hope like um, the Python programming is quite enjoy enjoyable. With these kind of uh, snippets you can actually build bigger programs uh, very easily and I would like you to try those kind of things and these are all like some basic programs which uh, from which you can build uh, bigger and better programs. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Bye.